Welcome back to another one of my aviation history videos, and this is episode 33 in my history of the RCAF. Now today we're going to be looking at 430 Squadron. From its start in World War II as a tactical reconnaissance unit to today as one of the RCAF's most important tactical helicopter squadrons, 430 has had a long and distinguished history. Now, before we jump into the rest of this video, my name is Sean, and this is Sean's Aviation. And just quickly, I'd like to say thank you for everybody out there who is watching this video and watching the channel in general. If you do enjoy what you're watching and you haven't yet, please down below, like, subscribe, hit that notification bell. Uh, the like and subscribe will push these videos to more people who would be interested in it. And the notification will allow you to know when I release new content. Now, all that being said, let's jump right into this and see the history of 430 Squadron. 430 Squadron was formed on January 1st of 1943 at Hartford Bridge as RCAF's 28th Squadron formed overseas and its third, and final, tactical reconnaissance unit. It was part of 39 RCAF wing, along with 400 and 414 squadrons, and the, those were the RCAF's other tactical reconnaissance units. You can see my video on 414 above if you haven't seen it yet. It was assigned the squadron code G9 and received their first aircraft, Curtis Tomahawk Mark 1s and Mark 2s, that month. They never flew the Tomahawk operationally, but converted to the Mark Mustang Mark I later in January, with the Tomahawks gone by February. June 1st brought a move to Dunsfold, and that same day, they became part of 11 Group and flew their first mission, a low-level sweep of France, with two aircraft attacking two trains with significant hits recorded. In July, the unit was moved over to the 2nd Tactical Air Force, and on August 13th, they moved to Ashford. October 15th brought another move to Gatwick. They continued to fly reconnaissance and low-level fighter sweeps over occupied Europe throughout 1943 and into 1944. February 9th to 25th, 1944 saw 430 take part in a large training exercise in Peterhead, Scotland, a workup for what was to come. April 1st saw a move to Odaham, and many of the missions they flew at this time was related to the upcoming landings and helped the Allied planners finalize the requirements. On D-Day, the unit was in the air flying photographic missions over the landing beaches, verifying enemy positions and Allied advances. In the weeks after D-Day, the unit started to fly before and after missions on known V-1 launch sites, ensuring that attacks on these locations were successful. Not too long after D-Day, the unit relocated to the continent, ensuring they stayed close to the fast-moving front line, and similar to other units, it moved from base to base as the Allies moved farther east. The bases they were located at is as follows. June 22nd, B-8, Somerview, France. August 8, 14th, B-21, saint Honoré de Ducy, France. September 1st, B-34, Avrilly, France. September 20th, B-66, Diced, Belgium. October 4th, B-78, Eindhoven, Netherlands. May 7th of 1945, B-90, Petit Brogel, Belgium. April 10th, B-108, Rhine, Germany. April 16th, B-116, Wunstorf, Germany. April 28th, B-154, Soltau, Germany. And May 8th, B-156, Lunenburg, or Lundberg, Germany. In November of 1944, while based at Eindhoven in Belgium, the unit converted from the Mustang Mark 1s to Spitfire Mark 14s and flew these till the end of the war. The unit disbanded on August 7th while based at Lundberg, Germany. During World War II, the unit flew 4,946 operational missions with 5,831 operational hours. They are credited with two enemy aircraft destroyed and one damaged. They destroyed 31 locomotives, 13 electrical pylons, 4 armored fighting vehicles, 4 motor vehicles, and 3 boats. The unit lost 29 aircraft with 3 pilots killed, 13 missing presumed dead, 3 POWs, and 4 injured. Now what cannot be captured in these numbers are the immense help that these tactical reconnaissance missions, and specifically the pictures and intelligence they brought back, helped with the war effort. The post-war life of 430 started on November 1st of 1951 when it was formed at North Bay as a fighter unit. 
It was assigned the squadron code BH and received their first aircraft, Sabre Mark IIs, that same month. In September of 1952, they relocated to Europe as part of the RCAF's commitment to NATO, and they flew their aircraft across the ocean as part of Leapfrog 2. Now you can see my video above on Operation Leapfrog and other ferry missions. Once in Europe, they joined No. 2 Wing, based at Gros in France, and took part in numerous training missions and base visits while there. In June of 1953, the unit traded their Mark IIs for Mark Vs, and flew these until June of 1957, when they upgraded once again to the Sabre Mark VI. In May of 1963, the unit stood down, but was not gone long, as it was reactivated in September of 1963 as a CF-104 unit. In February of 1964, the unit relocated to Zweibrück in Germany and became part of Three Wing. In February of 1968, it was absorbed into the new Canadian Armed Forces. In February of 1969, it moved to Lahr, Germany and became part of One Wing. In May of 1970, with another drawdown in RCAF units, 430 was once again stood down. This again did not last long, as the unit was reactivated in 1971 as a French-language tactical helicopter unit based at CFB Valcartier, just outside Quebec City. It was equipped with the CH-135 Twin Huey and the CH-136 Kiowa. The unit is affiliated with the 5 Canadian Mechanized Brigade Group, also based at Valcartier, and routinely trains with and has deployed with them a number of times. In 1994, the unit retired the CH-135 and CH-136 and replaced them with the CH-146 Griffin, which they still fly today. Today, 430 Squadron continues to provide much-needed tactical helicopter support for the Canadian Forces and has deployed many times overseas on various missions. These include the UN mission to Haiti in 1993-1996, the Bosnian Crisis in 1999-2000, Kosovo in 1999, and both Afghanistan and the Iraq missions recently, as well as the UN mission to Mali in 2018. They are also very busy domestically and have been used many times to help municipalities in Quebec during various crises, such as the ice storm of 1998 and seasonal spring flooding. With the RCAF looking to replace the Griffin in the near future and being the only dedicated French language tactical helicopter unit in the RCAF, I can see 430 Squadron being an integral part of the RCAF for many, many years to come. Thank you for watching, everybody. We'll see you next time.